What's up everybody, Tindo here. Look there's Hannah Warrior Princess. We're starting off today at Goodwill, but I wanted to have a real quick talk before we get started. Tomorrow's video, after you've watched this one, the next video will be our one year anniversary video. So it's really the last chance for you guys to cram in some questions for the Q&A that we're gonna be doing on that video. So drop some questions below. We'll get them on that video tomorrow or go over to our Discord and join the Discord, drop some questions in the Ask Tindo question section and uh, we'll get them answered on tomorrow's video. It's not all tomorrow's video is gonna be. We're gonna do a real big celebration, open some presents, gonna have a, a birthday bash, really, is what's gonna happen. So come back tomorrow for that, but in the meantime, let's do some thrifting today. You got it? That makes a pretty pricey pretzel. No, I'm afraid we'll just have to eat our way through all of the pretzels. Are you sure those were the last pretzels? There's a few random games in here, not a lot, but I do not have this. Command and Conquer, Kane's Wrath, I'm into that. I believe I've already got this, but we'll double check, we'll make sure. It's not the only other good looking game I see. Lots of NCAA, Rocksmith, just not, not a lot. So I walked right in and did a little swoop. Grab this baby. Hey, I don't see many black ones. This is beautiful. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Look at this R2D2 plug and play. I'll have to think about that one. Over in the glassware baking kind of section, and I found a few little Pyrex. I love seeing these because the Cinderella bowls, which is this style bowl, are a little bit more popular. People like to collect those a lot, but that one is not in good shape. And this one, I thought might be Pyrex, but it is glass bake. Um, there's a bunch of amber glass here too. This is a newer Pyrex. I think you might be able to get those at Walmart now, but um, this one's really intriguing. I like that one. It's a little more than I'd like to spend for it, but finding some things. I'm seriously about to buy this because it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. That is just strange. It was only $1.49. I wonder if it glows in the dark. It's an awesome spaceman. Okay, this thing is $5.50, so I probably shouldn't get it, but I really ir just irrationally want it. Oh my god. It's a pug bookend with a cloud. That's so cute. I mean probably get a little bit out of it so 550 is fine i shouldn't that's irrational it's so cute i kept digging around the media section and i found a second stash let's go murdered soul suspect not a game i'm familiar with but it doesn't matter because it's robbed and then soul caliber that explains why these are stashed over here. Someone brought them to the other side where they thought they were hiding and stole them. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't that cute? Little Minnie Mouse. Oh, it should have a spoon, but I think that's not a deal breaker. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna put that in my booth for sure. This was kind of funny. I was just walking down this aisle, media section. I just happened to look over. I wasn't even looking hard for games. Look at that. Let's go. Hannah's checking out right now, and I keep finding this secret stash. Someone's someone's just throwing games all over the place. Well, that was a pretty good start, I'd say. I ended up leaving with four games, and uh, one of them was sealed in that last secret stash of games that I found. Someone just kept stashing games all over the place. <laughs> well, the first stash I found, all the discs were robbed. And then further back in the store, it looked like a even bigger stack and I was like oh of course someone's going to have robbed these two because people go hide in the back of the store take the discs out but all those were there and that's where I grabbed a sealed copy of Brunswick Pro Bowling <laughs> let's go second stop this is a Goodwill that uh, we like to go to a lot because it's just on this road that basically has several Goodwills on it you just keep driving there's Goodwills I have some luck with games here sometimes, but I don't know, lately, at least since the Rona, it hasn't been the greatest stop, but we're gonna check it out today, see how it goes. Look at this video game collection. Connect Adventures times three, let's go. I just got so excited. There's this just measuring cup, mixing bowl, pour spout thing, and it's Jadeite. And I was like, oh my God, is that vintage Jadeite? Rip. 
I mean, it's still probably collectible and I probably could just put it in my booth for a couple bucks and it would definitely sell. I'll probably end up getting it because it's only 550. But I'm super disappointed it's not vintage. I'm not gonna find a ton here, but I need about 10 of these to decorate something. So that'll actually be number three. So seven more to go. That's always a good find. Some cute stuff going on. This little, uh, I guess, glass container is really pretty. It's a big, perfect corning wear with no lid. Hmm. These are curious. Those are funny. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my goodness. There it is, yeah. I'm like, I can't see the cording room markings, but they're there. It's not a pot, like a common pattern, but it's not really popular. And it doesn't have a lid, so that's a no from me. Um, might only be going home with this, but we're gonna see. Okay, I'm probably going home with this too, because Rick and Morty. It's only $1.40. Sure, we'll get that too. That in my little not vintage jadeite mixing bowl. These last two Goodwills have been super crowded, but I found these here, Lawman Western jeans. They're pretty cool. They're six bucks. They're not bad for that. So we'll go ahead and grab those two while I put this back on the hanger. Stand by. On my last round around the store, right before we were about to leave, I went and checked the CDs. I don't always do things in the same order, but uh, I didn't find anything else. So I was like, I'm gonna go sit on my butt in front of the CDs and check for the NTSC logos and find some PlayStation 1 games. I found four. And the funny thing is that two of them are wrestling games that I found the other day on an episode where I found like 10 wrestling games. Uh, but these are $2 because they think they're just CDs. So that's gonna be worth just purchasing them again. Madden 97, no big deal, but the best one is Brahma Force, a game I do not have. So we'll add that to the collection, what do you think? You know, today is a pretty great example of what I consider a great day of thrifting. Now, of course it's a great day when we go and find the new rarest game or we find a whole set of Pyrex dishes and stuff. But obviously that stuff is like, what? Once a month, once every couple of months. But days like today where like we go home comfortably after just three stops with a couple things to resell, a couple things that make these videos cool, you know, a couple things for my collection. Those are good days. I feel like today was a good day. We're not going home with a crazy amount, but I'm happy about everything we bought. I'm excited. I'm five yeah. to the face. Ow! Here we go. Last stop of the day. Why is it so much more windy on this side of town? We kind of drove further out to go to this one because it's just, we kind of sit around sometimes in the van and go, well, what Goodwill should we go to now? What well, haven't we been to in a while? We figured this Goodwill that we refer to as the Goodwill next to the L Super, we said we should go there. So let's check it out. I'm in love. I think I've never been more in love with the cookie jar teapot in my life. Look at this beautiful piece of royalty. I love this. Oh, it's Alice in Wonderland. No wonder I love it. I love Alice in Wonderland. It is my absolute favorite Disney movie. <sighs> I have to get that. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna do CDs first. Hmm. What are the chances? Oh, nice. I also think I need to get these little duck measuring cups that I push over to look at my teapot thing. They're so cute. Let down. I don't know what it is at this Goodwill, but they have the most beautiful things today. <laughs> look at this plate set. This is absolutely stunning. And like these are really cute too. I'm just like my eyes catching on everything. Look at this bowl. Oh my goodness. Oh, these plates are so cute. They're like a mix match set. Ah, oh, I'm obsessed. This is amazing. I don't want to leave. I guess it's gonna be a PlayStation 1 kind of day. 
Second stop in a row, just tons of PlayStation 1 games. I have to keep those. Holy crap. Who is this wonderful human that donated all this amazing stuff? Look at this. Where are you? Anthropology mug. That one's cute too. World market mugs. Who donated here? Somebody Every with a lot of PlayStation games. <laughs> Everybody, everything I see is beautiful. Now apparently the Mad Hatter donated here. Oh. That's that's unique. Hey. We'll have to look that up, see how much that one's worth. Very nice. Kind of says this bad boy is only worth eight, so not worth. Bummer. All right, some wee peripherals over here. Just a bunch of nonsense. But I do need these AV cables and for $1.49. Super good, super, super good. So we we're literally just about to jump in line and leave and they pulled out a new cart and check this out. This is what I grabbed off of it. Very nice. Uh, that's why I remember it because you know like as a child, you get to get all the paint, all the water, everything, you squeeze it out t-shirt. Great. You just okay. get it on your shirt, it's fine. Exactly. <laughs> and you can't make a mistake. Exactly. You can't mess up. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, but none of it has prices on it. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, look what Hannah just walked <laughs> over here with. Come on now. Come on. Does it have a price on it? Yeah, it's 3 dollars Okay. Can you hold on to some of this? Because I'm dropping stuff. All right, well, we're definitely going to get Minecraft because that's a good flip. We just sold that, so... I'm pretty sure I've got the rest of this, but I need to make sure that it's not worth it to at least put in our antique booths. Let's definitely take that one. So they just brought this cart out and it's just been full of bangers. We just grabbed some awesome stuff. We're just making sure there's nothing else we've missed. There's Epic Mickey. Holy crap, I don't know what just happened. Like pretty much most of these games didn't have price tags on them. They brought them out on that cart. So the dude went in the back and got me a bunch of $2 stickers. So we just got <laughs> most of these games for $2. So a $2 Minecraft for Xbox 360, dope. $2 for Xbox 360 Dragon Ball Z, let's go. Yeah. And you got some nonsense. I'm so excited about my stuff. These uh, Candyland cups you got might have been fine of the day, you think? I love them, I'm obsessed. I want you guys to look at this. This is my cell phone case. You see that? It has deteriorated to a state where I can no longer consider it useful. So we're gonna go to my cell phone case getting place, Five Below. We used to shop Five Below's on the channel all the time. Kind of stopped, I don't know, actually, I mean, the Rona kind of put a stop to everything, but this is where I got this phone case and it lasted a good long while. I'm just pretty rough on them. So we're gonna go load up on a new one, hopefully. That's really my only goal of coming here. If they don't have those, I'm gonna be devastated. But Hannah wants to buy some new t-shirts because yes. Five Below is also a great t-shirt getting place if you're into that 90s nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Heck yeah. All right, there are a couple of options, but I don't know which one I'm gonna go with. I kind of like the just clear ones, but I don't know if they have one for my phone specifically. Okay, I'm not big on tank tops, but these are sweet. Look at this, bruh. Bruh. So I've been long carrying my wallet on the back of my phone and I've quite liked that. Uh, but the only options they have here today are the pupper dogs. I guess those are some corgis camo and this pretty design. I kind of just wanted something plain. I'm down with this. Yes. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I have picked out three options and I want you to take them and I want you to pick one for me and not tell me what it is. You can give it to me in the car. Okay. Deal? Done. Five Below always has a gaming section. It's usually worth checking just to see what cheap game they have. Darksiders 2. There's usually some yokai watch around, but I've got both of those. But it's always worth looking. Um, why though? You want to lock up your phone so whenever you get in trouble, put them in detention? Weird. All right, did you get some cool t-shirts? I did. All right, did you get me a phone case? I did. Am I going to be surprised? You're going to love it. Am I going to be surprised though? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Not surprised. No? <laughs> I knew, if I gave you the choice, of course I knew you were going to give me the bright pink I mean, one. It was sweet. All right, let's do it. You think I'm scared, don't you? No, it's beautiful. I love it. It's the exact same make as the one that I had. Like the in interior of it is the exact same. So it's literally the same case, just pink instead of black. I'm into it. Ah. You like it? You're stylish. Rolling up to Jersey Mike's. It's a Jersey Mike's kind of day and I'm trying to decide how to position my phone just right, like how to hold it to make sure that everyone sees it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I'll just walk around like this. Ma'am, did you happen to notice my phone? 
it's very pretty. All right. I think the phone is a is a hit. I think they all liked it. <laughs> <laughs> now I just need to. Ooh, I need to go out tomorrow with this phone case and my pink Tinto shades on. Yes. It's gonna be lit. I got a spaceman. <laughs> is that the weirdest thing you've ever seen? It's super weird. It reminds me of something from Monsters Inc. The tag on it says, "Cuddle me toys." Not I anything know. I'm familiar with, but I just felt like that was something weird that had to be in my antique booth. So. That doesn't look very cuddly. No, it's very uncomfortable to touch. I mean, it's not antique. It's not like it's old, but my toy booth at my antique store, someone will buy it. Someone will be like, well, this is weird. I'll take it. All it's right. weird. Let's talk about all the stuff we got. I think you outdid me today. I think. I am so excited well, about the stuff we got. Everything that I got was just standard. It's just cool. It's, it's the stuff I bring home all the time. The stuff you got, though, is like, Hello? <laughs> it's like all the stuff from my imagination just I on will a table. <laughs> run through all of it because all I've got is video games after it. Well, I got an AV cable, a Minecraft torch, which I love bringing these home. But Solid. Uh, other than that, I got video games. So what did you get? First thing I'll show you is something I got kind of for you. This Rick and Morty cup. Oh, for my booth? Yeah. Yeah. We sell just about any cartoon on a cup we sell in our antique booths. All day, every day, flea market booths. I'm still trying to decide what to call them. Because no matter what I call our, I say toy booths a lot, people are like, what are you talking about? If I say flea market booth, almost everyone gets it. There's a little bit of confusion there because our resale booths aren't like traditional flea market booths, but yeah. they're, they're an evolution of them. So I think I'm going to go with flea market booths. It seems to bring the least confusion. Very fancy garage sale. You bought a bunch of stuff <laughs> for your very fancy garage sale, didn't I you? I did. All right, so talk about... Except for this. This is for my very fancy clothing at selling re oh, very nice. re business. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pair of the uh, Western style jeans. Are they Lawmans? These are Lawmans, okay. yeah. These are my third favorite Western style jeans. Very nice. Behind Rough Riders and Rockies, then Lawman. Very These nice. Are, they're pretty dope. I like them. What is this? <laughs> is that a... It's a bookend, but it's a pug wearing it's a very, cloud. It's very odd. I couldn't <laughs> leave him behind. It was too expensive, but I got it anyway. That was an impulse buy. <laughs> you hate five I'm bucks. Not I mean, I'm not shaming you. I understand, but that's so funny. He's so cute. It's a single book. Are we keeping it? No, but. <laughs> I guess you can hold up my oh, Game Boy so game. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> I just loved it. All right, what else? Along with these. Those are kind of cute. They're adorable. They're the little fact, measuring cups. The fact that they stack on top of each other like that's kind of hilarious. And they have precise measurements on the inside, so you know exactly oh, yeah. how full to fill in. 60 mill milliliters or one quarter cup or two ounces. Okay. They're so cute. <laughs> so those for your booth as well? Yes. I, I have actually sold several of these sets before. They aren't old by any means. This is, I'm not joking you, this is Le Biscuit. That's the brand? <laughs> That's the brand. That is what it says. Le Biscuit. I don't know how well you're gonna see that. Probably not, but it says Le Biscuit. All right, what else did you get? Great. I got an anthropology mug. Another one. This one's fancy though, it's got gold on it. I was gonna say, it. I don't think any of the ones you brought home prior to this were gold. No. Honestly, the person at that Goodwill, I feel like one person donated a bunch of stuff and they just had the most beautiful Hannah-inspired collection there. Oh, like all the coffee mugs. All the coffee mugs. There's a bunch of plates there that were really beautiful. And then something else that's coming up in a second I'm going to show you is very beautiful. Yeah. It was a good day. I got... Another coffee mug? It's Minnie Mouse. So... I was kind of curious how much, uh, I didn't really see what you bought at that thrift store, so I was kind of curious how many coffee mugs you were come home with, because there were, there were like 200 coffee mugs. Well, let's step back, any goodwill in the world, there's 200 coffee mugs. I don't know why we're still making coffee mugs. Anybody who needs a coffee mug needs not go to the store, needs to go to the thrift store and just buy one, because we don't need any more of them. Dishes but there were, in general. There was, but I'm saying this to say there were so many like fancy coffee mugs in this store. I, I, was, I, I was curious how many of them you were going to bring home. I didn't, I, I dialed it back. I didn't buy all of them, but like this one, this is special. She's got her little glove and everything. It's got a little lid. Yeah, that'll sell good. It's, I think it's supposed to have a little um, like sugar scoop, but that's okay. It's cute enough. It's so cute. What else did you get? 
Um, I got this mixy Let me bowl see bad boy. with handle. It's like a giant measuring it's, cup. It's very substantial. It is. And I got really excited about it because vintage jadeite is something that is highly collectible at this time in our world. Um, and it goes for a good amount of money whenever you can find it. And I've never come across any of it. So mm -hmm. I saw this and I was like, <gasps> Finally. <laughs> Finally. And it's a huge piece. That's going to be an amazing flip. But yeah, no. No, it's just great glass. But it is still popular. The color, Just yes. that color dish is still popular yeah. right now. That like minimalist farmhouse style that's going on with the Joanna Gaines movement. This is right up that alley. So. All right. Now let's get on to a couple of stranger things that you bought here. Uh, uh, let's do this one first. What now? <laughs> what? Isn't that the most beautiful cookie jar you've ever seen in your life? I feel like I'm going to open it and something magical is going to come out. The Mad Hatter's going to come out? Yeah. Just don't break my lid. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll be careful. We need pants. It's very nice. It's so pretty. It's very nice. Uh, it is actually Alice in the Wonderland uh, branded. I didn't know if it was. I thought it was just kind of something generic. To, to speak to that, but it is Alice Through the Looking Glass by David's Cookies. So this is a cookie jar? A cookie jar. I didn't know that either. Honestly, that's not a that's not Dallas size Tindo no. portion of cookies. You know what I'm saying? That would fit two cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I need something bigger than that for a cookie jar. And uh, you're almost gonna want to tape that back down because even in transport, this is not a that is very top heavy. Yeah. That's probably that's pretty close. So far, everything that you've gone through. So far, that's fine of the day for me. I'm getting up to my to my bangers here. Oh, well, no, let's do this first, because this is very much so, like, I, that's pretty dope. I love it. Somebody, I, this is not something I thought we'd sell a lot of, but just glasses, drinking glasses with this random stuff on it is something that we have sold so much of, so. We'll definitely put that in the old flea market booth and probably get a few bucks out of it. I'm, I'm so torn though. I really like it. You want to keep it? I kind of want to keep it. I don't, yeah, I don't blame you if you do. They're so pretty. Well, the other reason, it's always a dilemma when you find something nice new in box like that, because for a collector that needs to stay in box, but if you want to use them, you're probably going to toss the box. Unless I just open it very, very, very carefully. And then keep the box? <laughs> the only things I keep boxes for are my expensive electronics that I know I'm going to resell. I don't... Other collector stuff. I mean, obviously video games, but I'm not talking about that realm of stuff. But yeah, that's up to you. That's your choice. All right, keep going. What else did you get? Okay, my last thing is like... Well, it's my second to last thing, actually. Yeah, definitely save those for last, because those are fine of the day. <laughs> this, this is like me as a vintage reseller, cream of the crop, I did good today a vintage black Levi jacket from probably the 90s, I wanna say. And I didn't really get the finding portion of it on camera because I did a little a little swoop to swoop. So what I mean by that, <laughs> I walked into the store and that particular Goodwill, you walk through the men's section to get over to the dishes section. So I just like breezed right past the jackets and there was a guy standing there looking at another jacket and I just kind of like out of the corner of my eyes saw the jackets real quick and I was like oh there's a denim jacket there I should look at it in case it's a Levi and I like flipped saw the leather tab pulled it and just was like yes I don't <laughs> even care how much it costs and just walked on and just kept on walking that's a good find that's the kind of thing that we sell the most of those jeans and that jacket we'll probably have those sold in the next couple days if you post them tonight anyways yeah. all right let's move on to your finds of the day hannah has said to me probably two dozen times in the last month or at least since like thing uh, we were let out of the house after the rona lockdown she she said we need to go to five below i want to buy some new t-shirts it's such a great place to get t-shirts and you were not joking these are beautiful i'll start with my like my my third place it's a little villains shirt these are like women's cut shirts so they're gonna be a little tighter on yeah the, i'm i'm not looking forward to that too much but that's okay um they were worth it and then hakuna matata very nice so pretty and my absolute fave now that one's dope i wish they had that in my size they don't ever really have t-shirts there that are big enough for me but that, that right there is fire. I do have one Toy Story shirt that fits me. And I'm so jealous of your Toy Story shirt. I know. What's your favorite thing you brought home today? I can't choose. Well, this is my favorite thing you brought home. Yeah, the Toy Story shirt. Didn't even get it from the thrift store. 
I think. All right, well, you can tell me in a minute because we still have video games to go through. Think about it. Okay. Come up with a good answer. All right. Nothing super crazy from the thrift today in terms of games, but uh, all this stuff is, almost all of this is gonna go in my collection. I think a lot of those PS1 games aren't, uh, but the rest of this almost definitely is. I'm just gonna replace my copy of this with a sealed copy, because why not? Brunswick Pro Bowling for the PS2. Resistance 3, I actually have the first two. Um, I, whenever I was in the thrift store, I was thumbing through my collector's app, of course, and uh, it was like Resistance, one and two and not three so i was like well sweet i'll pick up the third hey, one completed the set command and conquer kane's wrath it's command and conquer three kane's wrath didn't notice that very nice very nice uh cameo that looks dope i don't know much about the game but it looks cool yeah i kind of want to pop that one in and then here's a nice little flip Yay. we just sold one like last week didn't we yeah and deadpool and I already had this one, I believe, but uh, this is an upgrade for mine. It's in much better condition. Uh, one of the, well, probably my find of the day, and Hannah found it, uh, Dragon Ball 2 Raging Blast. I love me, love, love, love me some Dragon Ball Z games, so that was awesome. Another nice little flip. Wii Sports, and then just a fat stack. Oh, no, there's one more 360 game. This one was probably among the more valuable games. This is not in great condition, but I think this is about a $20 game uh, in good condition. Icon Def Jam. You could probably change out the case though on that. Pretty yeah, it, it is mostly the case. It's not in good condition, you're right. So yeah, I could just switch that out. Uh, but yeah, that was a good find. And it was pretty exciting to find all that stuff because it was on a cart that someone was rolling out. We went to three Goodwills and both of them were right in the middle of restocking. And that was awesome. Uh, but the third one we went to and they were kind of restocking, but there was no new media card out. And I was like, maybe we should wait. And I was like, I don't want to wait. And we were literally, we went and got in line and looked over and Hannah said, there's a new cart. I was and like, we, go, go, go. We ran over there and there was a bunch. So let's run through these PlayStation games. I think one of these had a bonus disc. Yes. So this WCW NWO Thunder has the disc in it. None of these cases are in great shape. It has the disc, but it also has Warzone, which might... May or may not have been one of the other ones I bought, yeah. So here, it's the disc for Warzone, but I can't really tell what's going on here because Warzone also has, I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to do some Googling, but we got some double disc, extra disc action going on here. So cool. that's awesome. And it's so funny that I brought home these wrestling games because... I have been bringing a lot of wrestling games home lately, so that's pretty awesome. And like, I recognize a few of them that are on the stack from the ones that you saw the other day. Yeah, and I always love bringing home some jam pack that I don't have. And there's a jam pack PlayStation 1. I've got so many of the jam pack for PlayStation 2 and not very many of the, the one, the original ones. So that's pretty awesome. Always happy to bring home any form of demo discs. More wrestling. I just brought this home. Was it yesterday or was it the day before we did the wrestling episode? I think it was day, the day before. Day before. Just picked that bad boy up. Madden 97, NHL 2000, and then this actually looks like I should pop it in and play it. I love snow sledding games, but Sled Storm, very nice. And then Brahma Force, the assault on Belt Logger 9. <laughs> Let's That's go. That's a lot of letters. <laughs> it is. It just looks like a ridiculous PlayStation 1 game, but it looks like there's some mech action in it, and you guys know how I like my mech stuff, so... That's pretty cool. I would say of the games I brought home that I'm most excited about, I'm gonna go with a tie between Dragon Ball Z and however you say any of this, Brahma Force, the assault on Belt Logger 9. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> the more you say, the more of like you're making you're it making, up. <laughs> you are just moving your mouth. You guys comment below, what's your favorite thing that, uh, what's your favorite video game? Any of those that you demand that I play right now? Do I have to go plenty of them? right now uh what's did you pick a favorite thing okay my top you can't three. pick you can't pick top three all right start with your third favorite thing the levi jacket okay that's good because that'll be a good money maker it will um then i'm gonna go with the alice in wonderland okay the the teapot so cookie I jar love alice in wonderland it is my absolute favorite and i've managed to not break it this far that's good uh, and what's your favorite thing you brought home really i don't know if i'd uh if i'd guess that I'm, I just, I love them. It is cool. K, 
candy land glasses all right well we do want to know from you guys what's your favorite thing that we brought home today definitely let us know and listen you've got one more chance to shoot some questions towards us before we shoot our um one year anniversary video we've kind of been announcing every video for the last week or so that we're going to do this video and we want to do a q a so we want your help comment below go over to the discord ask some questions and hopefully we'll get them in on that video chances are if you're watching this video later in the day we will already have shot that video but if you're watching early in the morning there's a chance we have, we'll, we'll not have gotten to the q a portion of that video we're going to wake up tomorrow and shoot it we've got a whole day of plan of stuff to just do for that special video we're going to try to make it a special day and uh have some fun with it because it's not every day i can't think of anything i've ever done in my life that i i did it every day for a year straight without fail do you know what i mean eat sleep breathe yeah <laughs> i this is the first real goal i've ever set that i said i'm going to do this every day and i'm going to keep it up and then i did it uh we posted at least one video plenty of times too but at least one video a day for 365 days and hey. And, and as of yet, we don't really have any plans on stopping. So drop those questions below. Try to get on that Q&A video that we're going to do tomorrow. And uh, definitely come back and check out that video tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. We're not just doing a Q&A. We're going to open some Prezzies. We're going to do some other stuff that's going to be kind of crazy. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, definitely be here for that. Now, before we get out of here, I did mention the Discord. Go join it. Even if you don't want to ask us some questions, it's a good place to be. It's really where the core of our community is. We're over there chatting with people all the time. So come hang out with us over on the Discord. You can click on a link below this video to go check it out. Also, before we go, check out our merch store, TinnosTrash.com. We are selling t-shirts and buttons and stickers and just all kinds of cool stuff. So go put your eyeballs on it. And that's going to be it. We do post daily videos, at least up until now. We've made it a year. Here's to another year, hopefully, of daily videos. If you're into that, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure those notifications are so that you can get a notification when we post tomorrow's video. You can come back again and hang out with us then. Until then, guys, peace out.